So we're going to look at how to find the resultant force, which is the overall force, when we add together two perpendicular forces, so two forces that are at right angles. The forces that we're going to use are, we're going to have a force of three newtons to the right and a force of two newtons acting up the page. And because we're using the scale diagram method uh, for the physics GCSE, um, we are, we've got our scale mark down here. So we're saying that one large box is equivalent to one newton on our scale. So let's have a look at what we do. We're going to draw these two forces tip to tail um, from this start point that I've marked on here. So first of all, I'm going to draw my three newtons to the right force. So that's going to be three large boxes. So with a ruler, I start drawing my scale diagram according to the scale. One, two, three. So this is my three newton force to the right. Then I have to draw my two newton force up but I start with the base of the new vector arrow from the tip of the previous vector arrow. So I'm going to start my next arrow from the tip of this arrow. So I need to go two newtons up on my scale. That is going to be two large boxes. So I'm going to go up to there. Put my arrow head on to show it's a vector. And this is two newtons. So I've got my two perpendicular forces, three newtons to the right, two newtons up. They're drawn in accordance with the scale. And I've drawn them so that the tip of one vector arrow meets the tail of the other vector arrow so that we could trace our finger along following the journey shown by the arrowheads. Now I'm ready to find my resultant. So to find the resultant, I go from the start point to the finish point. So I'm going to draw that vector in with a ruler. I put my arrow head on and mark it clearly. So this is the resultant force. And I now need to measure the size of this resultant force and convert that into a magnitude using the scale and then use a protractor to measure the direction. So let's measure the size of it first. So I think I'm looking at 7.2 centimetres. Now that's not my answer, that's the length of the arrow, I now need to convert that using the scale. So one big square is two centimetres. So if two centimetres is equal to one newton, I then need to work out how many newtons this is. So I'll do 7.2 centimetres divided by two centimetres, and that should tell me how many newtons I will get, we'll calculate that in just a second. And then we need to get a protractor and measure this angle here to say the direction. This is a vector, so it's got magnitude and direction. So we need to um, measure the size of this angle so we can show the direction it is acting in. 